Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be continuing uh, our NFS stuff. So we created an NFS server already. So in this video, we will be connecting to that NFS server from one of our other uh, VMs that we have just running something. So um, we'll show you how you can connect it and then make sure that it actually persists over like reboots and things like that. Because if you mount it once and then it goes away afterwards, it's not very useful, right? So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content and want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so uh, we did all the setup for our NFS server. So let's just log in here real quick just to show what we have and make sure that um, it's still working. So we created an NFS share so we can actually do like a show mount e um, nfs.dragon.local um, on here to allow anyone on our network to connect to our NFS share on here. So what we'll do is actually log into one of our other servers. Um, in this case, let's log into our SFTP server, dragon.local. And then we'll do essentially the same stuff that we needed to do to configure the server. We will have to install yum uh, NFS utils to do the utils stuff. Um, and that should be a pretty quick install. So now we can show mount e um, NFS dot dragon dot local and we can see that we it's the same we can we can see the share so from here what we want to do is make a locate make a directory um for the share so that we can essentially say hey when i mount this it will be essentially this directory when i when i mount it um it doesn't need to be named like nfs share but i decided i just name it for simplicity's sake you can name it whatever it doesn't actually have to match because you essentially say hey i'm just mounting this whatever this is over here to this directory and files will just be located there. So I created the mount uh, NFS shared directory. So what we can do here now is use the mount command T for type for NFS and then NFS.dragon.local and then the share. So it goes server colon the share. So NFS share and then the location you want to mount it to. And I will mount it to NFS share over here. Um, so now if I were to look at this, I can see in here using df hyphen H where it will essentially say, Hey, on this file system, I have a new file system that says NFS dot local. This share is mounted to mount NFS share. So when I go to this, I can actually see, uh, mount NFS share. It's empty. And that's what I expect right now. Um, because if I were to go into this file system over here, on my NFS thing, um, NFS share, it is empty. So what I can do here is like touch a file, text.txt, and now we can see that there a file exists in here, and it actually will show up on my NFS server also. So essentially, it's kind of like a Windows like Samba share um, in a way. If if you want to think about it like Windows wise, it essentially is a place that you can mount and mount the file share and then get it here. Um, you can also mount obviously any NFS share. So if you have like a NAS that has an NFS share, you can do it that way. It would essentially be the exact same thing. Um, so, but here's the problem. If I were to reboot right now, and we can actually do this for simplicity's sake, um, the mount command only is for that session. So, and if the machine gets rebooted, you pretty much, that mount does not persist and you won't see it anymore. So if I were to do a DF H, you can see it doesn't exist here anymore. So if you want a NFS share to persist on a system um, on Linux here, we can actually edit the FS tab file, um, which essentially says, hey, on startup, what things do I need to mount from a file system perspective or any file system thing, essentially. Um, so in here, what we'll do is set the file system. So in this case, we'll do um, nfs.dragon.local and the share, nfs share. Um, and then the directory, which will be, um, I'm just gonna tab it, mount nfs share. And then the type, which will be nfs, we'll leave the options of just the default options, and then we'll set zero, zero. So doing this, um, if I reboot, it will come back up. But if you don't want to reboot to, to test it, you can also just do a mount hyphen A. So it will mount every, it will remount 
um, anything in FS tab that isn't mounted. Um, so now we can see doing DFS, df h that it does now show again and if we go mount nfs we can see that test file that we created if we were to also reboot and i'll just reboot one more time just to show you um essentially the reboot will go through and read the fs tab once more um, i probably need to be a little bit more patient obviously um, but it should read the fs tab again and now we should be able to see in here that it uh remounts right here um, and if I were to go through, I can see the test file in that chair. So um, that is essentially how you set it up on a client side to connect to the server and make sure that the mount persists over reboots. Um, so there you go, guys. There you can now connect to any of your NFS shares from a computer. Um, it doesn't need to be you know, a Linux box that with an NFS server. It could be your like Synology NAS that you have NFS uh, enabled or you like your true NAS that you have NFS enabled also. Um, you can do the exact same thing from a client perspective. You don't need the a, a specific Linux NFS server. It can be any NAS type situation with and with an NFS share um, open up. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.